Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Boy, it's been a while since I've made one of these types of videos. Uh, I think I still remember how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the Champions Kit, and I'll talk a little bit about my observations and uh, talk about where I see him used and that sort of thing. And I'm starting or restarting this particular series with Hulk. He just got a rework. And I have been waiting seven plus years for this rework. Initially, uh, I came to this game so that I could play Hulk. He is my favorite Marvel character. Growing up, it was Hulk, okay? Loved him. Collected his comic books, all of that. And when I saw how Hulk was, I was like, well, no, that's not my Hulk. I don't know what Hulk they have. They have some character based on Hulk, but that's not Hulk. And even though they added new Hulks to the game, it wasn't my Hulk. This is my Hulk. So we're going to look and see what they have done to Hulk to make him more like Hulk. The Hulk I grew up with. All right. So first, let's take a look. Uh, this is a six star rank three. So you can see a little bit about uh, attributes here. Uh, just to show you. Um, let's take a look at the synergies. Uh, didn't see too many um, synergies that looked like anything, honestly. Maybe they'll add some synergies later. I know that there are some synergies others have with him but his synergies that's all they have right there all right so now take a look at his tags you can see defensive tank hero xl illuminati avengers all right you can see his uh <laughs> bio <sighs> love it all right take a look at his signature ability here all right, when he enters Gamma Rage, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, or when he strikes the opponent with a heavy attack while it's active, he gains an unstoppable passive for two seconds. Now, this, I am at level 40, all natural. Uh, so I don't know how much he scales up to. We may uh, take a look at Aunt May uh, to find that information out. Uh, gain up to 784 physical resistance, so he's going to be much tougher, and critical resistance. Just so you know how important that is, Doom, and you know how tanky Doom is, it's because of his high crit resistance. Criticals are where the big damage comes from. So when you have a champion that has critical resistance, it makes them just that much tougher. So that is perfect. Um, to make him Hulk, I like that. Okay. Um, I don't know if I would say he needs to be awakened, but I would definitely want him awakened. All right. Take a look at his abilities. Okay. So yeah, he's immune to poison. Of course he gains up to 20% degeneration resistance and some attack rating based on missing health. So similar to how he was before, he will do more damage the lower his health goes. But he also gains more degen. So that means, you know, if he's getting degen down, he's going to get more and more resistance up to 20% uh, lower. So maximum benefit at 20%. So one of those... Nice little 20% revives, and he's good. If he's going into a fight um, that's like a degen, he at least has 20%. Doesn't mean it's going to keep him alive or anything like that, but he'll take less damage. Stunned opponents suffer uh, minus 20% percent, percent. <laughs> um, combat power rate doubled when in gamma rage. So that means he can wail on them. And you won't necessarily push them to a special three or the next special or something like that. So 
um, as we're going to see, he has a very long stun. And so that's important. One of the problems when you have a long stun is that you'll accidentally push him to a special three. And in the wild, you know, Realm of Legends is different because they don't have a special three. But in the wild, that's a problem. Well, this solves that problem. You know, you'll be able to do a lot more damage while they are stunned because they're not going to be gaining as much power as you're hitting them while they are stunned. And it's doubled 40% while he's in gamma rage. All right. Now, here is something that I had been talking about. This is something that they gave She-Hulk, but I was wondering why they didn't give Hulk. Everyone knows something about Hulk, even people that don't read the comic books. They know that Hulk gets angrier and angrier. That's his thing. And the old Hulk didn't do that. He, he got a little bit, when they changed him up um, the last time, he got more damage as he lost health. That, that wasn't good enough. This is what they should have done in the first place. So he has a max of 20, and he gains Furies, and apparently they are passives. We were questioning that earlier. Um, so he has Fury passives. I don't know if certain nodes may require active Furies. If they require an active fury, then this won't work. Okay, just know that. And they grant attack rating each fury. They last two seconds and expire one at a time during gamma rage, but are paused otherwise. That's important. Their ability accuracy cannot be modified except by Hulk. So you can't stop them. When striking the opponent, 50 to 80% chance to gain a Fury. A uh, passive based on missing health, okay? So he's going to be gaining Furies. And the lower his health, the higher the chance to gain Furies. When struck, 40 to 70% to gain a Fury. So he's going to be gaining Furies. Again, this is what I was so surprised because um, Aegon gained Furies when he got hit. She-Hulk was gaining Furies all over the place. And I'm like, Hulk should do both. Well, now he does. Uh, when struck, if Hulk loses more than 10% of his max health, gain five Fury passives. That really makes him upset. All right, so you heard about this Gamma Rage. Let's, let's see what this Gamma Rage is about. All right, striking an opponent with a heavy attack while Hulk has five or more of those passives that we just talked about inflicts a stun debuff for two seconds and enters Gamma Rage. Okay? When he has 15 or more personal fury passives, he automatically enters it. So this reminds me of Namor. Namor has a similar mechanic where he can um, enter into his, uh, I forgot what it's called, um, or he can do it naturally. And Hulk can either gain five Fury passives, and then immediately go into Gamma Rage. Why would you want to do that? Well, if the fight is really short, you might be able to finish the fight very, very quickly, like maybe in a Battlegrounds match. Perhaps you don't want to take the time to build up to the 15 Furies, and you may not need to, okay? But once he gains 15, he's going to automatically go into Gamma Rage. Um, who else does that? Um, oh, yes, uh, Mole Man also does something like that. Uh, while in Gamma Rage, if Hulk would gain a personal Fury passive, he instead inflicts a physical vulnerability debuff for three seconds, and it gets a max of 20. So that means that while he's in Gamma Rage, he is going to be giving these physical vulnerability debuffs, which basically means more damage. Okay, 113, and it's a max of 20. While Gamma Rage is active, pause all trauma and physical vulnerability debuffs. So that means he's just going to be building it up, building it up as long as he's in Gamma Rage. All right, Gamma Rage ends when Hulk has no personal Fury passives, then goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Now, remember, 
that his furies, they last for two seconds and expire, except when he's in Gamma. Okay? So once he's in Gamma, he won't be gaining anymore, and he will be putting physical vulnerability while it's active. The furies will be going, and eventually he will go out of uh, Gamma Rage. So special one. The final hit inflicts a stun debuff for four seconds. Duration is increased by 100 while in Gamma Rage. Mm. Each time this stun is inflicted, its duration is reduced. So that's a diminishing returns. So the first one is going to be a long stun. You wait till he's in Gamma Rage, fire your special one, and it's going to be a long stun. Uh, special two... The final hit inflicts a trauma debuff for each personal fury passive currently on Hulk. Trauma lasts for three seconds and causes all hits to deal an additional 5% of the damage recently dealt as a burst of physical damage. Uh, we will see that. But it basically means he's going to hit really hard on his special two. All right. That's pretty much what it means. Special three. If Gamma Rage is not active, gain 10 Fury passives. Now, remember, you're going to automatically go into Gamma Rage when you get to 15. So say you had five already, you fire off your special three, you're going to be going into Gamma. If Gamma Rage is active, it's going to inflict a huge physical vulnerability debuff for three seconds. So get to your special three. Get into Gamma Rage, fire the special three, then go to town. Okay, so it looks like there's a few ways that you can play this. And they are, they, they're fun. Okay, they are fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, of course, Realm of Legends and play around with Winter Soldier. We're going to test this out a little bit. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't, because I haven't done that before. I'm going to see if I can't uh, get a lot of damage out of him. I'll, I'll try to, you know, go into Gamma Rage naturally. Then, you know, work it, maybe fire off a special three, try to build up to a special one, all that good stuff, see what happens. Uh, but that that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so be right back. Surprise! You can see me. I try to turn my camera off for that portion of the video because I want you to focus on his kit and what we're reading rather than getting any distractions. All right, so I'm going to be going into Realm of Legends with just Hulk, no synergies, active. All right, and keep in mind that I am running the Recoil Masteries, so when you see his damage, bear that in mind. So. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do, I'm just playing around and I'm watching uh, the Furies. And he seems to be gaining Furies pretty quickly. Okay. And I already like that. All right. Um, he seems to be, from what, his, what I saw in his kit, fairly simple to play. You know, you don't have pages and pages of, of stuff. All right. So here, I wanted to see what that stun was like. Now, that stun was not very long because he was not in Gamma Rage. He is now. See the um, green icon up there in the uh, upper left? That is Gamma Rage. And you can notice that he's not gaining any more Furies. They're going down. But he is putting those physical vulnerability debuffs on his opponent. So he's still doing damage. Look at this. This is all with just one Gamma Rage, okay? Just one Gamma Rage. So I was already impressed. And let me see, what did I do here? I think I, I was building up uh, to his special three because I want to uh, trigger his Gamma Rage from the special three, okay? So you see I have uh, four Furies. Now I have five Furies. All right. 
Now, remember, you're going to get 10 Furies. Look at that. He's just going ham on him. All right. So now he's in Gamma Rage again. Because he got the 10 Furies and I already had like five or six. And then look at this. We're just building up. I kind of messed up because, you know, in Realm of Legends, um, Winter Soldier sometimes acts funny. And he, he, he's sometimes aggressive, sometimes passive. But just look at this. Look at the damage. Now that, look at the distance or, or the um, duration of that stun. You didn't get a chance to see it in action because he, you know, was knocked out before it. And I was in Gamma Rage when I did that special one. So because we didn't really see that one too well, this time I'm going to uh, show a case the uh, stun a little bit better. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to fight a little bit differently than I fought in that first fight. First fight, I was just getting warmed up, trying to get a feel for Hulk. And like I said, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, he is a lot of fun now. A lot of fun. Uh, even with the ouchie masteries. Okay, so here we go. I'm in Gamma Rage. Can't help it. Got there naturally. Okay. So now I'm at his special three, and I'm firing off the special three to put on that big boy physical vulnerability. And that's what that is right there. See it? That is a huge physical vulnerability. So I'm doing a lot more damage. Look at it. That was a 21K crit. Look at the damage. Even the white numbers. Look at the damage. And the physical vulnerabilities are just going up. That's what happens when... He already is in Gamma Rage and fires his special um, three. And then you saw that I fired off his special one while he was in Gamma. And you saw how long that lasted. This one lasted much quicker. Now watch how fast this one goes. Boop. And it's done. So you're not going to get any infinite stuns. Okay. But that first stun, huge. And you can still... Now, she didn't have enough health left um, for this one. But that stun would have been back to a nice duration stun. So Hulk is finally Hulk. I didn't do a heavy attack um, uh, to show the unstoppable and all of that, but I am loving this reworked Hulk. My Hulk went to rank three when I saw the um, CCP on the CCP server, what he was like. And I am not disappointed. He is awesome now. Now, you know, he's mainly damage. He's fun. Uh, where would you use him? He's poison immune. He gets furies. And he does a lot of damage. So I, I've used him so far in uh, the event quest, you know, with the science. Um... I put him alongside, like, um, uh, She-Hulk and uh, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. And that gives him the ability to place um, power stings on the opponent. And, oh, man, it is crazy. It is crazy. Uh, but I'm sure there's other uh, nice synergies that people will be talking about. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think of this video, whether it's helped you out, learn Hulk. It helped me. That's one of the reasons that I love doing these videos, because it makes me read the kit and process his gameplay based on his kit. So if it's helping you out, let me know. All right. But anyway, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. I will be making more of these videos now. Uh, I forgot how much fun they were. All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.